In this video, we're gonna cover all the ways you can mount your DSLR camera to your Lost Mandy mount, and a bunch of different ways you can do it if you have a telescope as well. So your first reaction might be, wow, a Lost Mandy German equatorial mount is a bit of overkill for shooting just DSLR astrophotography. And that's probably true, but like me and a lot of you folks out there, you maybe have a telescope and a lost Mandy mount and you either want to shoot uh, some DSLR just casually or uh, you wanna shoot DSLR in combination with the telescope. And there's a lot of different options I wanna cover here. Shows you some flexibility you have for mounting either DSLR standalone or with a telescope. So at the heart of our mounting solutions are these dovetail plates. These are the Lost Mandy D-style dovetail plates. And Lost Mandy actually invented uh, the D-style plate, the D-style standard. And you see it oftentimes referred to as the Lost Mandy D-style or D-compatible, but these are the legit real deal Lost Mandy uh, D-plates. Um, these come in seven inch, 14 inch, 19 inch, and for the big monster scopes, or if you have something that requires a lot of balancing flexibility. We have the 24 inch versions as well. These are all pretty much the same. They just have a repeating hole pattern and I'm gonna include a link uh, down below in the description that shows you this hole pattern. Uh, but these are very flexible in terms of the mounting hole options and they slide right into uh, the Lost Mandy saddle plate. There are two other plates that I wanna cover in this as well, and we're gonna to refer to them. One is the uh, DMM, which is the male-to-male -male adapter. And we're gonna show you how to use this uh, to get some more flexibility out of your dovetail, as well as being able to mount it in different places uh, so that you can balance things a little bit better. And we are going to cover uh, the side-by-side -side plate. And there's something very unique about the Lost Mandy mounts is that you can actually use the deck axis at 90 degrees and it's not gonna be any problem at all. So this is a really great way to do a side-by-side -side type of configuration. I wanna mention that there is a smaller, lighter Vixen style plate that we are not gonna cover in this particular video. We're probably gonna cover it in a different video, but pretty much all of the current Lost Mandy uh, saddle plates uh, have both D style and Vixen style or V style uh, plate compatibility. So the first and simplest way to mount your DSLR is just to mount it directly to the dovetail using a quarter 20. And you can just slide this in, goes right on, gives you some flexibility in terms of balancing if you need to move it back and forth. Uh, but this does kind of a couple of uh, drawbacks. First of all, uh, you have to use the saddle plate itself to balance so you can't actually move the lens itself. And there's not a lot of room here. You can see that this lens is actually kind of just right on here. It's I can't really tell, there might be a little bit of room, but uh, the lens shade might be uh, scraping a little bit. And I just generally don't really like it. It was kind of a pain in the butt to put in there. It's a good and easy way to do it. And if you're in a fix and that's all you have, you know, hey, it'll work. The second and slightly more flexible option is to use your dovetail and actually attach the male-to-male -male adapter to it. And this adapter plate can actually be mounted in a couple different places uh, on this uh, dovetail. And you can see that it's actually can be fast with up to eight screws. Uh, I put all of them in here. Four is usually enough, but I mean, you know this thing is gonna be super solid and super reliable. So I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this into the mount. And what's nice about this is I can use this with a combination of the DVCM plate. This is a slightly larger lens, but the DVCM is a, a mounts to the dovetail and it's actually a bracket that just slides on here and allows me not only to attach it in place, but I can much more easily move it up and down just by loosening this uh, knob and moving it. And the other thing I like about this approach is it gives me some additional space uh, either behind or in front, but I can mount uh, other accessories such as a dew heater or a mini computer or lots of different things you may wanna have back here that's going to help uh, with some of the more advanced astrophotography. Another option that adds a little bit of flexibility in terms of your pointing options is the DVCM2. And this adds a pan tilt head to this clamp. So we get kind of the benefits of the DVCM, but now we can actually slide it on. Again, we have the option of sort of moving it back and forth uh, to balance everything. And we have a combination of being able to rotate it and also to tilt it, got two sides here. So this allows me to remain um, 
in sidereal mode for the mount, so we're doing uh, really accurate tracking, but I can actually aim this slightly off the of center. And we'll see here in a minute, not only is this handy just for kind of a quick reorienting or reframing of my image, but it's also gonna be very effective for me when I use it with the telescope option. So now we're gonna move on to dual mounting a DSLR and uh, a telescope. This here is my Skywatcher 120 uh, ED Esprit. It's my workhorse telescope. I had to clean it up quite a bit to get it in here so it looks presentable, but you can see here, I've got a uh, Lost Mandy, a 19 inch, I think, uh, maybe 14 inch uh, dovetail here on the bottom. It's a D style. And I also have one mounted on top. The great thing about this is, uh, again, there's so many holes, so many hole patterns. It was very easy to find uh, the right match uh, for these rings. Just screwed them right on. This is solid as a rock. So what I can do here uh, is use uh, the DVCM2, just happen to have that, kind of slide it on here. There we go. Move it up. I've got a lot of flexibility in terms of where I can put this. And again, here I am. I, I've got uh, sidereal tracking with my lost Mandy mount, so all the stars are going to stay round. And I can actually just sort of loosen this up a little bit if I want to aim the DSLR slightly differently, which I can do. So I'm mean, going over here. A lot of times when you're doing DSLRs, you're kind of doing a wide field version of what you're shooting kind of deep uh, in a deep object with a telescope. But here, this doesn't have to necessarily be the case. You can do some creative framing. So this is a great way to do that. And also, as I mentioned, just loosen this up and you have a good, good way to actually slide it and to do the balancing uh, for your telescope. And of course, I also want to point out the DVCM, just the regular one. So this still gives me the ability to slide the camera on be able to move it around a little bit in terms of positioning for balancing. And uh, again, once I screw it on there, it's just solid as a rock. So this is a great way to do if you're doing, again, sort of uh, wide field and deep space of kind of roughly the same object with the same sky area, a really nice way just to add your uh, DSLR or even a lightweight telescope. And again, gives you that flexibility to move it kind of where you need it to be, either for balancing or because you're mounting other types of accessories onto the back. So the last option I want to talk about is the side-by-side -side plate. This is the DVSPS, as in side-by-side. -side. And uh, this takes advantage of a really unique and very helpful feature of Lost Mandy mounts. And that is I can take uh, the deck axis and just rotate it 90 degrees and just go ahead and slide this in like this. And again, I've got all kinds of flexibility in terms of moving it back and forth to balance it. But when I lock it down, when I boot up my Gemini, I just do it in cold start mode, and this actually now can be tracked as this is the counterweight down position. So this is unique. It doesn't require uh, the deck axis to always be in this direction. It can be actually at 90 degrees, and it's going to work perfectly fine. So I'm going to go ahead and set up my telescope and my DSLR side by side on this plate. Okay, I'm done. So it's not quite balanced, but uh, you can see that it's very easy for me to set up a really nice side-by-side -side system using a DSLR camera and a telescope. But of course, I can do two separate DSLR cameras as I did uh, when I was shooting the Comet Neowise. I wanted a slightly wide field and a slightly more narrow field. Um, but the side-by-side -side plate, the DVSBS, is a great way to do this. And again, as I mentioned, takes advantage of this really Awesome feature where I can just rotate the deck 90 degrees and I can use a side-by-side -side plate there. All of these products are available uh, through the Lost Mandy resellers or at the Lost Mandy Direct Store. There's links down below uh, for all the stuff. I hope that was helpful. Um, let us know if you have any questions. Just drop them in the uh, comments section below and uh, hit uh, subscribe for us to see more of these types of videos.